Hi, Gary with AmazeStudios.com here, and today I'm doing a behind-the-scenes recording of a dry run. Before I dive into details, let's take a look at what the Skype viewers see because this confuses them because they see all the other participants in the background in Skype. And this is what I see behind the scenes. So not only do I see all the Skype viewers, but I also have to assign those Skype viewers to each of the scenes that I have set up. So here's a view of my desktop. And then you can see in the top window, I'm arranging the scenes with the correct lower thirds. And then ultimately, this is what people will see on YouTube as the produced version. This is just a small clip of our dry run that's unlisted. And I'm just testing out the flow of how this all works out. And also they'll get to review this to see if they need to make any changes on their end. So this is really important to do these dry runs because there's a couple of things that you'll figure out from a technical standpoint, and then also things that they can work on to provide better delivery. I've got my script over here on the left on the laptop. Over here on the desktop, I've got the Ecamm Live monitoring my audio with loopback because over here with the microphone, I want Skype Ecamm to be transmitted, which is taking the Ecamm Live and my voice. And so they can hear my voice and I can also record that over here. So I'm recording the behind the scenes on this Blackmagic Video Assist. When we go live, I'll switch this over to Ecamm Virtual Cam so all the callers will see this. But when they come on, I'm gonna go ahead and set up all the scenes here because if we go through here, we don't have anybody on any of these Skype calls yet. So I've got a 15 minute countdown. That should give us enough time to set up the scenes and they should be calling in about five minutes, but I'll go ahead and keep it recording. I was also curious about the processes here. You can see that Ecamm Live right now is only taking about 13 to 14% of the CPU, but the same amount as the activity monitor. And I'm sure once the Skype callers come in, I'm interested to see how much of the percent of the CPU will be handled with six callers. We're gonna be going live with six people, probably not all six at the same time, but I'm gonna see how that performs. We did a dry run already with nine people and six people were live and it worked out fine. Below is my focus right control. If I click on mute here, I'm not going to hear myself. Oh, that's even better. Okay, so I'm not hearing myself right now on the monitor, which is fine. I was hearing an echo. So now that I muted myself, you can still hear me on the recording because I can see it going up and down. So right now I'm just waiting for everybody to call in. The way I've set this up is that they're going to call me and I'm going to merge them all into one call. And then once everyone's all online, then I'll assign the scenes in each of the Skype scenes that I've got set up here. I've got a stream deck here that I've set up so that it could, could easily switch between them. What's nice about the stream deck is that it shows the scene name and the person. And so I can easily switch between those without having to mouse over these icons to click on play or use the keyboard shortcuts just gives me a really good visual way. If you haven't started using a Stream Deck, I really highly suggest it. This is not sponsored by Stream Deck, but I have links in the description below. So if you buy that Stream Deck through my Amazon link, that'll help me out, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. This is gonna be the second dry run. The first dry one was a little bit of a difficulty because some people aren't familiar with Skype. Uh, so take that into account when, when you have people who've never used Skype before. This script, this is the way that it was kind of formatted and that they wanted to go and then I went in and cleaned it up a bit. I put my items in to do in a light blue. Oh, what's also nice about this setup is that the Skype callers will hear me, but you'll see here that my focus right is muted. So my voice is not going to come over the broadcast. I'm just a producer slash uh, technical director in this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go live and start the countdown. All right, the countdown started. And this video is gonna loop three times. And I'm gonna turn this down a bit. Okay, is 
anyone called in yet? I'm, I'm hearing an echo for some reason. Hey, Izzy. Do you hear an echo in the music? No, no echo? Oh, hold on, let me turn the music down. Okay, that's good. All right, uh, Zoe's dialing. I'll merge her in on the video. There's Zoe. So Zoe, is this where you're gonna sit on the actual night? Because that light behind you is kind of bright. Is there a way to turn that, turn it down a little bit? What happened? Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. um, Natalie, I'm gonna go back to the other call. I'm, when I hang up, call me again so I can merge you. I'm not sure how I can merge. Okay, so looks like I, I lost you too because when Natalie called me, I must have pressed the wrong button. Okay, here comes Natalie. And merge. There we go. Okay. And then, hi. hi. Uh, Zoe, can you move your camera down just a little bit so that the uh, lower thirds, there we go. That's good. All right. And then let's just double check Natalie. Oh, yeah. So I don't want to cut your chin off. So if you can point your camera down a little bit, Natalie. There we go. And then here's Izzy. All right. Where's Izzy? There we go. So Penny's going to try her, um, her iPhone now. She's, she says she's on top of her router. She's going to try her cell. Okay. She's also down in Carmel, so she's not where she's going to be. I see Penny calling right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's. Okay, so um, I think this is you. And then let me just add everyone on this one. Except me. <laughs> just for a heads up for everybody, let's try to get dialed in maybe at, because the broadcast is going to start at 645. And what I just went through right now, I have to go through and line everybody up in the video with the correct titles because it doesn't know who's who until I actually assign it. And that's going to probably take me about 10 minutes. So maybe if everybody can just dial in at 630 just to be on the safe side. Mm -hmm. and also, the invite out for that time? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think so. But I'll ask Brianna to update the invite. Uh, today is just going to try to run through as close as possible to what's going to be broadcasted. And then on um, Wednesday, uh, it's going to be pretty much what we want to show on the actual night. All right, so uh, if everyone's ready, I'll get started. And the way it's, it's going to work is that you should all be able to hear me fine as you hear me now. The On the broadcast, if you guys watched it, you'll see that it looks totally different from what you see. And ideally, if your phone is set up or your laptop is set up now, um, you want to set it up so that the, there's only one thing showing at the time versus the multi-view. So then you can at least see what's going on in terms of the broadcast. And how do we do that? Your full screen or speaker view? Speaker view. I think that's what it is. Okay. Okay. So now you should just see, um, yeah, you should see Natalie right now, right? Full screen. And you should be tiny. Your self view is very small. So I remember. you. Oh, you just see me. See you. Oh, you. Yeah, because you. Yeah. Oh, really? Hmm. I see. Okay. I see. So because you're, you're talking. I see Zoe. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So when I'm talking, you just see me. But the virtual camp. So hold on a second. This should actually be my. Let me just go back over here real quick. Okay. Does ev does. Let me see. Do you guys see this making a difference logo now? No. But you see my video or my icon? Your icon. Oh, I know why. Speaking, so 
you know, it goes to whoever the one is speaking. Okay. Now, now you see it? Now I see Natalie. Now I see making a difference. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now that I'm talking, this is what's going to be showing. So what I was talking about earlier, uh, now that you see, you know, when I go through your names, you should have enough space underneath your head. So that looks good right there. And then let's just double check Zoe. Oh, that's not Zoe. Here, Izzy. All right. So this Zoe. And then we've got Penny. And then let's go back to... Um, split Kathy and Izzy and split Kathy and Zoe. I feel like it's, um, I don't know if it's me, but it's, it's cutting off the names on the left. Yeah, it's going to look like that to you, but on YouTube and Facebook, it's going to be full screen. It's just whatever Skype is doing with the video right now. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're going to go through this. I also updated the Mad live stream script. So hopefully everybody is going off the same uh, Google Doc because you can format your section the way you want to format it. But I added little cues for me in blue to show what I need to do. So whatever you need to do to kind of help cue yourself, feel free to do that. Well, what's going to happen is that right after the 6.45 to 7.00, the video is going to loop three times and you'll see a countdown. And right when it hits zero, it's going to automatically go to the making the difference video. And then when the making a difference video is going to come to about five seconds before it ends, I'll say, all right, Kathy, you're up in about five, four, three, two, one. And then you go. Okay. Do I want me to do that right now? Oh, I'm going to play the making the difference video and then we're going to all go through it. Everybody ready? And we'll go ahead and get started now. Kathy, you're in five, four, three, two, one. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for this unique Making a Difference event from home. My name is Kathy Dunleavy Rosaya, a proud alumna from Mercy's class of 1972. And on behalf of everyone at Mercy High School, I hope that you and your families are safe, healthy, and sheltered at home. Uh, deserving young women with financial needs are able to have the funds to continue their Mercy education. Throughout this event, you may give a gift online by linking to the link at the bottom of the page. As always at Making a Difference, we start our evening by singing the Mercy alma mater. Izzy, you're on in two, one. A Mercy education is rigorous and challenging, but personal, spiritual, and supportive. And we know many of you might be thinking of money differently than we did two months ago. I encourage you to consider giving. I encourage you to be part of our mission because I couldn't think of a greater mission to be part of than that that is grounded in the Sisters of Mercy and Catherine McCauley. Thank you for being here with us this evening. Thank you for being part of our community. Now, it is my honor to introduce our chair of our board of director, directors, Penny Stack Alexander. Thank you, Nat. Impacted by the challenges of COVID-19 and what that's brought on to them financially. Thank you for everyone from the Mercy community for joining us this evening. Let's make a difference. Good night. Ta-da! All right. All right. 
I'll leave, I'll leave this, this screenshot, screenshot up for a little bit so that so people, people can scan, scan it. it. I might, I might even, even make an announcement, announcement that, that you can, you can if you point your phone, and if you guys are anyone that has a phone handy, go ahead and try this right now. Point it at the screen and put it on the camera and it should say, do you want to open this link, mercyhsb.com? Does it show up? And then and when then you when click, click it, it, it should, it should actually, actually take you to the, the donation, donation page. page. Okay, great. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right, All right let me stop the recording here. here. Oh, on, oh, on Thursday, Thursday, you want to do, do one full run through Thursday. Thursday. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean it's, it's up, to, it's you up to you guys. Well, so we're going to get better and better, better Wednesday. And then yeah. Mary's got us running some other practice things just ourselves. So yeah. it'll be a fine oiled machine by Thursday. Yeah, I feel it. Absolutely. I'll send you guys the link of the recording so you guys can watch it again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a great night. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye.